this, Mr. Webb. What do we got here in the ring now? The former BCW Tag Team Champion. Words can't describe it. Raymond using Mad Dog. Of course, Mad they're Dog. taking on he doesn't the Heartbreakers bad. with Miss Carla coming back after their 60-day suspension. What were they suspended for? I'm, you know, I just uh, come off of a long, relaxing time away from wrestling. I tell you, I'm not familiar with the Heartbreakers. Who are these guys? There's a long history between these two teams. And I tell you what, there were suspensions handed down due to outside interference that the Heartbreakers dealt during Mad Dog and Flaming Youth match. Our referee for this match, Mr. James McCone. James McCone. Uh, words can't describe him either, can they? Well, we really have the fans in a frenzy here today, don't we? Sure do. I think they're not happy at all to see the Heartbreakers back. I guess not. I mean, like I said, I'm not familiar with the Heartbreakers or Miss Carla, but judging from the fans, we've got quite a problem dealing with them in the past, would be my guess. I'm not even familiar with this gentleman here, the Flaming Youth. Uh, it looks like he's a two Mad Dog Pedestal. Mad Dog getting the fans going with his hoo 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 over there. That reminds you of a late night talk show. Okay, we got Heartbreaker Scott McKeever and Mad Dog starting off the action and starting off rather rough here with a couple of fists upside the head in the corner. Reversal. Oh, and Mad Dog laying the chop in. Oh, he reverses it, McKeever. Oh, he's laying those chops in to Mad Dog right now. Whips him across into the turnbuckle reversal. McKeever goes in and down from a big chop. Beautiful chop. Beautiful. Right across the chest. Right to the middle of the ring. And Miss Carter is irate on the other side of the ring. Oh, my goodness. Scott McKeever rolls out of the ring right into some fans. Hot body. Who, who is this guy here? I mean, I, I'm sure it's, you know he's one other half of the Heartbreakers, but I've never seen this guy before in my life. Scotty Hot Body and Scotty McKeever, they they go back a long way. I'm very familiar with them. I've been in several organizations that they've been in. They've been together teaming for I guess for about a year and a half now. At one time they were arch enemies, Mr. Webb. Are they enemies? Yes, they wrestled each other quite a bit. Could never come up with a clear-cut victory over the other one. So they decided to join forces. Join forces. Sometimes that's the best thing to do. And they've had a very successful team since doing that. Well, I'd have to agree. You know, like you said, they're former holders of titles. Uh, no, like they say, sometimes, you know, two negatives can make a positive. Mad Dog in. Oh, a big body block. Takes McKeever down. Crossover. McKeever up and over his man. Turns around. Oh, that's for a punch. Oh, Oh, the Japanese arm drag brings him out of the corner. He goes right to work on the arm. A big boot to the midsection of Mad Dog. He tags in Hot Body, making his first appearance, only to be met with a hip call. Scotty Hot Body, a very high flying aerial ref. Ref there getting pushed a little bit. Yeah. Scotty, as I was saying, Scotty Hot Body, very high flying aerial wrestler. Yeah. I mean, there's this thing out on the market called a razor blade. I wish these guys would learn how to use them. Flaming youth in the ring now. A little shoving going on between Hot Body and the referee again. Yeah. Always controversy when it's during the matches like this. There's a lot of heat going on between the two wrestlers. Flaming youth in the ring now. Back after a little layoff. Some great chain wrestling maneuvers in the ring happening right now. Hey, what's going on here? It's Chuck one up for the what is Hey, oh my god, I've never we seen Chuck touch. one up for the rest here. Let's put some tights on this guy. Oh my god. Referee James McCone. Coming back. Administering a little punishment to Scotty Hotbody himself after those shoves he got earlier. Have you ever seen such a thing? I'm sorry, I'm distracted. I'm, you know, just watching the fans and other things at ringside. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Did you get a chance to talk to Miss Carla earlier in the dressing room? Uh, just briefly. I said, hey, how you doing? Excuse me, that's about all. But uh, I like to get to talk to her. She looks like she's got a thing going over there with these two guys. 
Sometimes Will Sooner likes to get a, get a tag. Whoa! McKeever down. Flaming Youth very well skilled in the martial arts, I understand, too. He holds two martial arts belts in different forms of martial arts. Yeah, there's a lot of things a lot of us know about this guy is only. Well, that's very true. Some things we can't talk about on TV. Well, no, not that we care to, at least. To be on the safe side, we don't want no lawsuit. Well, Flaming Youth slowing the pace down a little bit. Has McKeever down. Got a wrist lock on him. Oh, but McKeever's back to his feet. Big knee to the midsection. Takes Flaming Youth, whips him in, drops down. Youth crosses over. Oh, and he, hot body, pull the air. Take his man down and drives that knee into the side. You know, I'm, I'm fairly impressed with these guys. They're, they're a well executing move. I mean, in and out, constant tags, you know, that, that keeps the team going. Outstanding team. But what was the deal at the beginning of the show? Why were they involved in that little melee with the PYT? Uh, I don't know. I was discussing with Mark, and uh, he told me in the past that he has had trouble with these guys. And maybe we could get some kind of contract signed between uh, the PYTs and the uh, Heartbreakers. I think that would shape up to be an excellent contest. Well, McKeever now taking Flaming Youth down with a suplex. Covers him one, two. Two count by referee James McCone. James McCone's still a bit excited about what he got a little bit too involved in this match. Well, sometimes the wrestlers try to go a little bit too far with the referee, and I think the opposite just happened. Yeah. Double team effort right there. Yeah, well, you know, it takes two. Referee James McCone distracted to the action happening in the ring. A mad dog. I think a blatant chokehold there. Well, Scotty Hot Body making no bones about it, just driving that sole of that shoe right into Flaming Youth's throat. Was there a tag here? I couldn't see. I, I couldn't quite tell myself I'm more involved. In the referee there, he's kind of in the way. I couldn't really tell myself. I did hear like a slap. That could have been somebody getting, could have been somebody to slap. Then again, it could have been a tag. You never know. Well, what's Miss Carla doing here? She, oh, my goodness. I don't know. She's involved. I knew she would be involved in it before it was over. Mad Dog getting on the referee's face there a little bit. Oh, there's one of those karate kicks. Judging his metallic level. Well, referee James McCone distracted again, and here comes McKeever. There was no tag there. No, not at all. What's McKeever doing? He's going up to the turnbuckle. Oh, my goodness. Just through the forehead, that'll really make a man day. Well, Mad Dog attempting to come in to make a save, but Flaming Youth kicked out. <laughs> well, McKeever with the abdominal stretch on the Flaming Youth now. This can work for both the advantage. Well, there's no tag there again. Well, Hot Body has the abdominal stretch yeah. locked in. That could be a very painful maneuver there if you lock it in nice and tight. Well, with his size, when he locks it in, it is locked in nice and tight because he doesn't have the height advantage as McKeever does. No. The advantage of being so tall like McKeever is he can stretch that arm out more and just literally turn around the other side of his other arm. And that's exactly what he's doing because the arm of the flaming youth has become limp. Well, I think he's going to make a comeback here. He reverses it. Tip toss. Tip toss. Well, a big boot to the top of the head of Flaming Youth will slow down any man. Oh, yeah. What's McKeever doing here? He come off. Oh! Flashes down on top of his man. One, two. He's too Put close on the to the rope. rope. Put on the rope. you got to hook that leg, too. 
Put that outside leg and the guy can't throw it over the rope. Definitely. Flames heading to the turnbuckle. That's very painful. Very painful. You draw your noodles a little bit. Exactly. Oh, whip to the turnbuckle hard. The keeper in. Oh, and Flaming News gets out of the way in the nick of time. And in comes Mad Dog. Whips McKeever into the rope. Hip toss. Hip toss on Hot Body who makes his way into the ring. Body slam. And another body slam. He's really cleaning house here. Yeah, he Takes is. McKeever. What's he doing? Sleeper hold. Oh, sleeper hold here. Oh. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. Needed a back. Well, we got some action going to the floor here between Hot Body and Mad Dog while the action in the ring continues between Flaming Youth and McKeever. Was it? Oh, a body slam to the floor of Mad Dog. And Flaming Youth takes his man, rolls him up. Well, referee James McCall's nowhere to be found. He's distracted by Miss Carla, which is not too hard to be done. And McKeever reverses one, two, three, and it's over. And he had the tight tail, too. I mean, the referee needs to pay more close attention to these matches. And your winners, the ICW Tag Team Champions. Not for long. Scotty Hotbody and Scotty McKeever, the Heartbreakers with Miss Carla. Exactly what she's there to do. And that's distract everybody. Well, once again, ladies and gentlemen, your winners, the ICW Tag Team Champions, the Heartbreakers. And we'll be back. Just